Hey, welcome to Airline Pilot Research, the channel where we show you how to see the shape of the world for yourself. And today we're looking at the age-old question of if pilots have to dip their nose as they fly around the globe. So what happens if the pilot does not dip their nose? So as we fly along, if we don't dip the nose, it'll look something like this. And that makes no sense whatsoever. All right, so as we fly along, clearly we have to keep dipping the nose to keep re-establishing level to the globe. Here's the tricky part. It's not the pilot or the autopilot which is dipping the nose. It's actually the airplane maintaining level as it flies around the globe. All right, let's take a closer look at how the airplane is trimmed for level flight and how level changes as we fly around the globe. So as we're in level flight, we have balanced forces, our lift balances our gravity and thrust balances drag. But what happens as we fly around the globe? As we move forward, gravity is going to shift backwards because the center of the globe is moving behind us. At this point, since the aircraft is trimmed for level flight, the aircraft will automatically re-establish level to the new gravity and it will pitch the nose down. That's without any pilot or autopilot intervention. That's just the natural mechanics of flight and the aircraft flying level to local gravity due to how it's trimmed. We fly along some more, gravity shifts behind us and the aircraft re-establishes level. We fly along some more, gravity shifts behind us, and the aircraft re-establishes level. And this is how the aircraft flies level around the curved surface of the globe. And when you think about it, this is exactly how water works. It is always level to the gravity, but the gravity is what's changing. At airliner speeds, about 450 knots, 450 nautical miles per hour, uh, we cover about seven and a half degrees of curvature per hour. So over one hour of flying, the nose of aircraft will have, quote, dipped seven and a half degrees down. Next hour, another seven and a half degrees down. Of course, the dipping happens on a moment by moment basis, second by second as we fly around the globe, always in level flight, but in level flight around the curvature. Why can you not feel this in the aircraft? Well, it's a very gradual change. So seven and a half degrees per hour equates to 0 0.125 degrees per minute. So basically a tenth of a degree per minute change down in, uh, in pitch. That's why we cannot feel it. Um, the passengers don't feel it. The pilots don't feel it. It just happens behind the scenes. Now, even though the occupants of aircraft may not feel this, can be measured and it is very noticeable if you, if you know what you're looking for. If we take a look at an example of aircraft flying from uh, the equator to the North Pole, every hour we fly north, the nose of aircraft will have dipped down seven and a half degrees and that is noticeable at the North Star. So at the equator, the Polaris is going to be at our horizon. An hour later, Polaris will be seven and a half degrees above the horizon. An hour later, it'll be seven and a half degrees higher above the horizon and so forth every hour until we reach the North Pole. Some of these hardcore flatties might say, well, the Polaris going up in the window is just because we're getting closer to it. No, that's incorrect. Polaris is going up in the window because we're flying north and the nose of the aircraft is pitching down. And the proof of that is in the amount that it goes up. If we leave the equator, go an hour north, 450 nautical miles, Polaris will have moved seven and a half degrees up in the window. And the last hour of flight from uh, 450 miles south of the North Pole till we get to the North Pole, again, Polaris will have moved seven and a half degrees nose up. If you think about perspective, that does not work. You cannot start off with something at the horizon and move in seven and a half degrees up per hour and then it's just starting underneath an object and moving seven and a half degrees up per hour. Hey, don't be a stranger now. Hit that like and subscribe button because I want to tell you more tales from the flight deck exactly how you can see for yourself the true shape of our world.